Do I have to play the WrestleMania theme again? I, I want you to play the other one that I love. The one from the first... Oh, the very, the very early one? The first few, yeah. where they just show, like... Yeah. And they just run run through the card. Yeah. In still pictures? In still yeah. pictures. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Was that, that a WrestleMania theme? Because I can picture that being used on Survivor Series. They might have just actually. done it on a bunch of Coliseum videos. Yeah, maybe it's Coliseum videos theme. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Either way, I do associate it with my childhood and watching VHS tapes. Yeah. So. No, 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 the, no, no. That was Survivor Series. The WrestleMania was theme was the. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Anyways. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. So you'll have heard do, w- w- one something of those. of those before. Well, you just heard uh, before both, this. So. Yeah. Whichever one very, Scott very finds good first. Versions. Yeah. Pretty much whatever. YouTube fucking shits out. I'll uh, I'll put on there. So where are we at? Uh, WrestleMania happened uh, over we, a week ago. By the time this go comes up, yep. And we've and uh, we recorded an on the road podcast between our Mania uh, predictions and Mania review. Uh, so here is the Mania review. Well, we don't need to talk about everything, but when we get into the star ratings and stuff, because that was sort of the main thing we did, right, with the, uh, yep. with the, uh, with the predictions, it wasn't the, uh, we didn't really give a shit who was going to win any match, and also pretty much all of the winners were foregone conclusions anyway, yeah. <laughs> in the big matches, so it was just all about what we thought, uh, how good we thought they were going to be, and our potential star ratings for them. And so now we're going to have our actual star ratings for them. And we also have the star ratings of one Big Dave. And when I texted this to Drew, he's like, Batista? I'm like, no, Meltzer, the guy who gives star ratings. I don't know, maybe Batista secretly reviews WrestleMania matches. I would love if Batista had a vlog. (laughs) (laughs) Where it was just him being an asshole to his wife. (laughs) She keeps a clean house. Does she though? She didn't though. That she got cancer, bum, bum, and that prevented see. her from pick, from picking up a vacuum cleaner. What? What are you doing? I hit something on my phone and audio played. You, anyway, here's the thing. Uh, You're ruining my life. That wasn't actually an excerpt from his book, and like he keeps <laughs> catching shit for it. <laughs> so I feel bad for Big Dave Batista. Really, you're defending really? Dave, who's who, despite what the actual quote was in his book, was probably a piece of shit to his wife. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Molina did the split on his balls. I think that's <laughs> enough. Buffalo style with Molina. <laughs> what is Buffalo style? You don't know what Buffalo style? Balls deep. You gotta get your balls in there, too. Here, Dan, let me show you. <laughs> no. He's gonna buffalo style your butthole. <laughs> wow, that was impressive. Anyway. Just, wow. <laughs> just went right in. Just... <laughs> no, I didn't even need to warm up or anything. No, I just spit on it and <laughs> fucking broke back to my way in there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is I Sucks Next Heart Cinema. <laughs> Episode... What, this would be 18. Yeah. Uh, and this will be... The last I Suck Snakes Heart Cinema, where we don't talk about cinema and do talk about wrestling and still call it Heart Cinema, because after this we promised to think of a wrestling named one. But the first one about <laughs> WrestleMania was still in the cinema, and we want to make this e- at least easy enough to find. Anyway, uh, we're over three minutes in. Should we introduce everyone who's here? It's are we? Is it about due for that? Kelly, Dan, Scott, Drew, everybody say hi. Uh, hi. hi. Done. Good. That was efficient. Dan's cosplaying. <laughs> Dan found knee pads on the floor, and now he's cosplaying as a wrestler. My dodgeball knee pads. This is really uncomfortable. <laughs> well, they're over pants. I don't know Dan. if they're meant to go over your skinny jeans. They're not jeans. Or whatever those are. Skinny, the skinny cords. Skinny dickies. No, they're H&M pants. They're, 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 skinny I was gonna say they're whatever. De- they're delicious. But they're, they're very comfortable. <laughs> H&M hit and miss. Anyway. So, we'll start... Good! I was from looking forward to starting. the bottom. And when we get to the top, stop. Yes. Good. So the first match we talked about was the eight-person intergender tag. Yep. Which, of course, got bumped to Raw, thankfully. Because they timed out WrestleMania horribly. Yes. Like, they totally blew it, from the sounds of it. 
Which is fine, because did you really want to sit through that match? No, yes. me neither. No, I, 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 was, I was looking forward to it. Because you have a love for the A-Train? <laughs> no, I, no, I mean, the best worker in that match is Naomi, and that's who I was looking forward <laughs> to seeing. But here's the thing. Um, everyone shits on, like, the buffer matches on pay-per-views, but with the heat that Trips Brock and the main event got, I think buffer matches might be a really good idea. Cause man, really, really missing that woman's title match right now. I'm really yeah. missing uh, Trish versus could on fucking T- Tamina versus fuck. whoever Caitlyn. That Caitlyn. Yeah, but uh, plus no, I, no I, time. I I saw an animated gif recently of a spot that Naomi does, and I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's fantastic, and I'd like to demonstrate it for you right now. So in in audio form. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So she like is in the corner, right? And, uh, you know the spot, like, you get whipped, and you go to do, like, an up and over, but you catch the person in the head scissors. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yes, okay. Okay. So now I'm, this is me, I'm on the ropes, right? <laughs> yeah. The person's my, I'm um, scissoring You're, the head. Yeah. Right? But instead of doing, like, the twist off. And, Into a head scissors. Right? Yeah. She goes, like uses her legs to, like, pull the person's face into her ass. Into her butt? Yeah, it goes, oh. like, bam, bam, oh. bam, and then bam, and they take a bump off. I have... An erection. <laughs> oh, it, yeah. I'll Scott, <laughs> Scott, just try to not jerk off. <laughs> Seriously. Oh man. Well, wow, that's I haven't seen that spot, and that's a statement that I'll, I'll be correcting later tonight. There you go. Well, the good news is we don't have to review this match because I didn't watch it. Kelly didn't watch it. Scott didn't watch it. Dan, did you watch it? Uh, no. Nope. There you go. <laughs> Done. Uh, the next match to review was uh, supposed to be the uh, Intercontinental title match between Wade Barrett and The Miz. Again, got bumped to pre-show. Yep. Didn't watch it. Kelly didn't watch it. Scott didn't watch it. I did watch Dan it. Dan did watch it. It was pretty good. <laughs> For four for, minutes. For four minutes. It was four minutes long. The... It, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, it, it, was, it was enjoyable. They hit their spots. The finish was kind of cool. Like... Uh, Miz did this little, like, sneaky reversal into a figure four that I'd never seen before. I don't know where he got it from. Yeah, they, they showed that on Mania, so we saw yeah. that. Yeah, it was, like, this kind of weird leg sweep <laughs> thing where you, like, landed, like, three quarters of the way into a figure four. Um, it probably should have had more time, considering there was an hour they had an hour pre-show, and they only had four minutes of wrestling. Not 56 it. minutes of videos. Um, and yeah. shit. No, it was good. I enjoyed it. I mean, I don't remember what I gave it. Uh, Dan? Yes? You gave it two and one quarter stars. Yeah, it was around that. So I think I was I was pretty close. I'm not sure uh, what uh, Big Dave said it was going Big be, Dave but... Batista gave it <laughs> one and one quarter stars. Yeah, that was underrating it. So So he liked it a star less than you. We'll yeah. be sending Dave a sternly worded email? Sure. Now. Listen up, Dave. I... Co- comment, though. Yes. Miz won the title, uh-huh. then jobbed it back on Raw. Is that just because they like to have the faces go over on Mania? I think so. I, that's the only reason I could think of, because it was a weird choice otherwise. Yeah. Fair. It's a weird choice as it is. Oh, and like and jobbed it like completely clean on Raw. Too. Yeah, like, he'll like straight up but one. It's his finish, yeah. knocks him out, yeah. and done. It does go with Scott's theory, though, that the only reason that you have uh, mid-card champions is to do the job. Is so you can yeah. beat them. Basically. Now... A part of me is somewhat disappointed they didn't have the uh, intergender tag match just because I wanted another excuse to do a Brodus Clay skit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good skit last time. You are good at your Brodus Clay skits. Cause you didn't you guys have a follow up skit after? I that, tried to get one. Going we did the out. similar one at Mania. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was him fucking like, what's going on? I thought. Uh, I fucking get ready for the house show in Fort Lauderdale and I look on SmackDown and fucking uh, Mark Henry's got the gimmick that I suggested. What the hell's up? Brodus, quiet! Brody. I thought you said you could dance. You said you could dance. <laughs> it's more of a lumbering. But, uh... <laughs> Poor Brodus. Well, at least he gets to team with... Uh, you know that guy from the guy from New Japan. The Matt, guy, Matt, the guy, Matt that Blue. guy who had all those good matches in New Japan and has translated so well back into the WWE. Kenzo Suzuki. Kenzo Suzuki. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the first actual match we got to see was the uh, Shield versus Orton, Sheamus, and Big Show six man. Um, where Big Show, who was already a heel, 
turn heel. Turn heel. <laughs> <laughs> you did. She showed us a thing or two. So take that, Marks. <laughs> Scott, you gave this one. Oh, Scott and Dan gave this one half a mark higher originally than Kelly and I. Meltzer went uh, a half a star less than Kelly. Lower than everyone, right? Really? Yeah. So Scott and Dan gave this originally, or their pre-WrestleMania predictions predictions of three and one half stars. Kelly and I said three stars, and then eventually at the end, Meltzer gave it two and a half stars. I think he underrated it. I, I yeah. agree. I also agree that agree. they've underrated. I don't know. For a match with three main eventers that they didn't overly have anything to do for them. Yep. And three guys who I generally don't want to watch. It was quite good. Why don't you want to watch the Wait, Shield? They're no, I'm good. talking I, no, Orton no, Sheamus he actually, Big Show. Oh. He actually said it the other way, but oh. the way he worded it, I also got very yeah, confused. Yeah, I was also confused. Yeah. I don't want to watch Sheamus, Orton, or Big Show. Okay. Fine. No one's going to yell at you for that. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, yep. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dave really didn't dig it. He's like the like his his reasoning was like they never got much. They didn't get much time and it never got going. I'm like, I I'm gonna have to rewatch the other two like big pay per view shield matches. But I liked it as much as those. Like, mm-hmm. I, I guess the TLC had more shit in it. Yeah. But um, I thought it was as good as the the February one with uh with Cena, Sheamus, Ryback. Here's the only reason I did not accept that match, WrestleMania. And they didn't even oh, yeah. give them fucking gear. And I understand that their gimmick is yeah. that they're squat, SWAT team, Not squad. The, SWAT team. <laughs> we need squats. But, Burn up my legs. But is it the gimmick? <laughs> Can't walk the next day. <laughs> old SWAT team. The old Hindu squad isn't, team. Isn't their gimmick, though, that they are wrestlers, though? Yeah. So then why can't they have gear? That's the thing. Nothing would be hurt by them getting gear. They don't want gear. I don't <laughs> know why. <laughs> Back to the squat team, though. That, uh, the that, Samoan squat team? No, legitimately, there was a squat team. I remember reading back in the day uh, how before, uh, like, Raws and pay-per-views and stuff, Benoit, oh, of course. Rob Conway, and Divari, and Divari yeah. would do 500 Hindu squats. And that worked out great for everyone. Conway is semi-semi main eventing New Japan. Yep. Daivari is Beating uh, up dudes saving on lives on the subway. Yeah. And I think Chris Benoit has the U.S. title. So... <laughs> what, uh, wait a minute. What did Daivari do? Oh, you, you haven't you, seen... Oh, my God! Oh, my God! He, like... Oh my get, God. Don't get, <laughs> what's happening? He chokes a belligerent dude on a, on, like, on a subway, the L, in Chicago. Some guy who's being an asshole yeah. and, like, trying to pick a fight with some other dude. Daivari, like, sneaks up behind them and, like, chokes but him out. But it's not even sneaks up. It's like he's sitting there with his headphones on and his jacket and his gym bag. And so the guy's, like, a little bit away from him. So he, like, takes the gym bag off, takes the headphones off, rolls them up, he's puts like, them in his bag. Right. Yeah. Zip, it's, unzips it's... the shirt. <laughs> nicely puts it down. Walks up behind the guy. Grabs him. Takes him to the ground. Chokes, chokes him chokes out. Chokes him out. Makes him piss his pants. Makes him piss his pants. And then him and the other dude, the, he drags him off the train. Toss at the next him. stop. <laughs> And then they throw his bag out, and the guys and see. They, they and they're like, too. Yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. It's great. Yeah. Oh, so good. Subway hero Sean Daivari. Yeah. And like when it happened too, they he sent the, him on a magic carpet. Ride. <laughs> <laughs> when they when it first happened, the cops had thought that like that he got jumped and beat up, and then yeah. after they watched like the security footage, like oh. He brought it on himself. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, by the way, so Davari like super juiced too. So oh yeah, he's like, amazingly. Yeah, juiced. he got giant. And I remember watching a Ring of Honor match where it was Davari versus yeah. Eddie Edwards. The match with no moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody did any moves in that match. That's that was fun. <laughs> so, this match, Scott and Dan, do you stand by your three and a three and a quarter? We say three and a quarter, three and a half. Three and a quarter. Well, three and a half. I was reading the one. Up. Jesus Christ! I was to say, three and a half. Uh, I sort of like three and a quarter, though. <laughs> I think that might be a little more fair. You can go three and a quarter. Yeah. I'm sticking right with three and a half. Three. Kelly, what do you think? I'll stick with the three that I got. I will give it three and a half. Oh man. I will go up half, and I think that Big Dave way underrated it. He did not enjoy this match as much as he probably should. Thing have. is, I didn't see the whole match as well. I only got the finish. 
All the finish stuff was good, like because they had they had up for the triple power bomb and then Big Show fatted all over everyone and made them fall down. <laughs> yep. And then really good timing on the RKO oh, yeah, out of yeah. the springboard. Yeah, Orton's comeback was good. Yeah, too. yeah, it was all good stuff. Yep. So and then the Big Show not making the save. But how about after the match when Big Show poorly timed his punch to Sheamus? Oh, it yeah. almost fell down. That was so he had to good. run at him, then stop, and then then yeah. punch. <laughs> Just about fell down punching. Yeah. That was pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I did not deduct any stars for that. <laughs> Although I could have. Okay. The next match <laughs> would have been um, Brock and Goldberg 2. <laughs> or Ryback and Mark Henry. Yeah. Uh, Scott t- and Kelly tentatively gave this two stars. I gave it one star. Dan gave it one and one half stars. Oh. I didn't think I was going that And high. Mr. Meltzer gave it one half star. Yeah. He was right. <laughs> yeah. And here's the thing. He was right. That sucked. Oh, the, uh, that yeah. match was horribly worked. It's a bunch of dumbers <laughs> clubbing <laughs> each other. This is honestly, this is why I refer to it as Lesnar Goldberg 2. Because everything I said to Scott before the match started, I said, they're going to do the tie up, they're, push off, tie yeah, up, push off, off. hit the road, each road, other, hit, run into each road, other. Nothing happens, flex yeah. a little. Then eventually one of them's going to clothesline the other one. Yeah. Now, the only upside to this match was when it came time for Ryback to get Mark Henry up, he did not struggle to no, get him didn't. up. Got him up fine. He got yep. him up in one clean jerk, and I thought the finish looked really cool. I, I enjoyed the finish. I did like the finish. Yeah, like it was clean, it looked really good. It looked like he broke his back yeah. on the finish. But then then the, the stupid thing, which we pointed out afterwards, was uh, like... He, he gets up afterwards to beat up Mark Henry and then does the finish him. It's you can't finished. finish him. The match is over. It's finished. <laughs> and, and he yeah. also took away Mark Henry's heat. Like, what's yeah. the point? Uh, whatever. Like, I mean, yeah, know, if, you, if you want to put over Ryback, then make him win the match. Yes. Don't make him lose the match and then finish the guy with his finisher. Yeah. Especially since they're doing Ryback Cena at the next pay-per-view. Why didn't they just have Ryback win? Win. Yeah. yeah. I don't get it. I don't but know. can you make him go over on the heel then turn heel? Yes. yes. Right. <laughs> no problem. So, uh, are we all in agreement that one half star is the correct rating? I'm fine with that. Yeah. If you said one, I wouldn't yell at you any yeah. higher, and you're probably wrong. Um, my potential two was a best case scenario, and they didn't hit yeah. it. <laughs> I think our best case scenario was they're going to do something freakishly strong. Yeah, yeah. just crazy uh, like feats of strength, and really on the lift for the finish was really the only thing. And yeah, also, it went eight minutes. And it went too long! Too damn long! There was a boring chant during that. Yeah, so, I, mean, yeah I, I definitely gave that potential two stars before I heard that 12 minutes was allotted for that segment. I'm like, ooh. That's so Jesus funny. Christ! Oh, God. How did that happen? A thing fell down that no one touched. It was just resting awkwardly. Uh, yeah. It was, oh my God, it's a sign. It's a picture of Drew and his girlfriend that just came crashing. Oh my crap. god! Oh, no. Well, <laughs> you guys had a pretty good run. It's so. over. Um, all right. Now the next match has the best title that I deeply hope Dan came up with, which is Team Hell No versus Biggie and Ziggy. <laughs> because when you texted Scott your star ratings, that's what you referred to it as. I don't think I came up. With oh, that. I, th- I think I. I think I might have sent them to him with that. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that is the best name for that match. Yeah. One, yeah. Dan, agree or disagree? Biggie Langston has an awesome finisher. Oh, uh, Dan, you're a Dan, come on. Wh- whether or not you feel it in your heart, you may lose a friend out of this, so just tell him it's Full good. Full <laughs> body diamond cutter. It's cool when he does it on guys who can Small talk, guys. But, like, Kane yeah. looks like shit. Yeah, no, on big guys, it's meh, but well, on yeah. tiny guys, it's cool. Kane. Here's, yeah. the, here's the thing. He, he Kane bumps everything. Here was our argument for anyone shit-talking his finisher on the internet. We're like, oh... Do you like the RKO? Yeah? Well, this is a million times better, because he cuts your whole fucking body in half. Yeah, it's fine. Also, his, sing- also his singlet is disgusting. It is disgusting, yeah. <laughs> I heard it referred to by someone as a porn singlet. Uh, yeah. I don't know what that means, because I, I haven't watched a lot of porn, but I don't think there were singlets in it. No, no. Not okay. enough? <laughs> the body cutter is a self-high ten. A self-high ten. <laughs> so... We all had different pre-mania predictions on this match. Uh, Kelly gave it two and a half. Scott gave it three. Dan gave it three and a quarter. And I gave it three and three quarters. You were optimistic. Big Dave gave it two and one quarter. Here's the thing. 
I don't know if any of us were expecting that match to go six minutes. It was short. Yeah. It had no time to develop, really. Yeah. yeah. They like had to rush straight into their spots. Because the like the opening was awesome. The head kick, yeah. The the the, the, uh, the, the play for the playoff last the year playoff was great. Last year was great. Yeah. And the first forty five seconds. I almost bought. Guys, I almost bought that finish too. Yeah. Because yeah. like I'm like they're assholes. They'll do they it. They could do that. And then the them kind of they did some kind of grapply stuff right off the bat. Some hot stuff. The, yeah. The two workers of the teams. Uh, oh, Kane and Langston. Exactly. <laughs> um, that was all good. Yeah. Like, but uh, yeah, not enough time and. Uh, and yeah, Kane was a little clunky, and Langston's fine, but yeah, Kane and Ziggler blew something. They blew a famous or something. They blew a famous. It looked horrible. It yeah, looked really bad. Yeah. And he's the world champion. So anyway, that was awesome. That I watched was, that live. And it, was it was very good cool. stuff. Yeah, it Ziggler cashed cool. money in the bank. I, I saw that. Massive. I hate to download. Massive that, face yeah. pop. Yeah. For beating a uh, face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the ma- like, it was only like a two minute match, but it was really well worked. Two it was minutes. good. Yeah. It was yeah. Really. It was good. I'm glad they did like a. Couple of near falls and not just and pin the guy. Yeah, no, it was good. Not just have his opponent knock him out, cash him in the bank, come yeah. down. Yeah, pin him. Yeah, yeah, it was like cool. they've done a million times. Yeah. Uh, so my I rating was based on the fact that that they might go more than six minutes. That they might go more than six minutes, and that Ziggler and Danielson would do some good yeah, stuff no. together. It's not and like that maybe the, Biggie would do some cool stuff. Yeah, but it's not like. Under certain circumstances, that mat- match couldn't have been three and three quarters. No. It could have. Yeah. If they had taken four minutes off of the Ryback match and given it to those guys, probably a better move. Uh, yeah, I think it would have both, easily been both the, star ratings would have gone up. Three star range, so yeah. yeah. So, so, what does everybody feel like the match actually was? Hmm. What did I give it? You gave it two and a half, Kel. I'd probably bump it down to two. Two. This guy gave it a three. He gave it a. Th- Three. I still mostly like the six yeah, minutes. It wasn't. Um, I go probably two and uh, between two and a half and three quarters, two and five eighths. Okay, <laughs> an unacceptable number, but I will accept it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Danny gave it three and a quarter. Uh, yeah, no, two and nine sixteenths would. Uh... You. Bastard! Can I give it change mine to two and pie? <laughs> two and pie. <laughs> but that's, that's more than five, you shit. <laughs> you don't know numbers. Uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna drop mine down from three and three quarters to two and a half. Yeah. 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 So we all feel in the two yeah, two range. Two and a half ish yeah. range. That some of us overhyped it, and by some of us, I mean me. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. The next one, Jericho and Fandango. Scott, you gave it three. Here's where we're going to have the opposite gripe with Dave. Scott gave it three. I gave it two and a half. Dan gave it three and a quarter, and Kelly abstained from voting. Because he was yelling into a pillow. Because he was yelling into a pillow. <laughs> and Big Dave gave it three. I could not argue with him any more on this point. Too high, Dave. Yeah. Scott, you gave it the same rating. I gave it the same rating before I saw it. Yes. Dave had the saw it luxury of it. seeing it and still decided to give it three stars. Here's the thing. We, thought, we touched on this before we recorded. Yeah. Jericho kicked out of Fandango's finisher the very first time he did it. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. One star. <laughs> And Jericho was fine. I thought he would be able to carry it a lot more than he did. They had... I did enjoy the spot of Jericho going for the springboard dropkick to the outside. And cutting him off. Cutting him the, off with yeah, the kick. The that was really yes, cool. Yes, that was good. Uh, but nothing in this match was that, special. Fandango did not do anything. Yeah. No. It, like, it was supposed to be his debut to show off what he could do. He didn't do anything. It was a bad SmackDown mid-card match. Yep. Yeah, it was it was very much a TV and not a paper. Nothing match. entertained. Was, nothing was spectacular. And the finish was blown. And yeah. the finish, was blown. yeah. Like, <laughs> Let's not forget like, that. Fandango was too close to the ropes. You're too close, man. Yeah. So Jericho overshot, and then had to lean back in. No, he like, he, he, he completely the, missed the moonsault, got up and walked walked back over. Oh yeah, he did walk over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And because they were going to do the spot, they always do where Jericho goes for the lion, t- lion, t- uh, salt, salt. lion salt. Guy gets the knees up, but Jericho lands legs. on his feet yeah. and catches the legs directly into the lion tamer. Yeah. 
and then uh, Fandango was going to turn it into a roll up, and yeah. uh, no, Jericho had to walk into the Lion Tamer, and then and then fuck around for a little while, and like it wasn't even, like it was a sloppy roll up too. Yeah. So like, yeah, no, the finish is blown, and yeah. like, no, yeah, I, I t- oh, overrated for sure. I will say the one thing that I did like is unlike a certain man in the main event, uh, Fandango missing his leg drop, he actually took the bump. Yeah. Yes, and good for him. Yeah, that's not a fun Because that shit hurts. No, oh, yeah, that's a shitty bump. Yeah. And he did it like almost three times in that match. Yeah, yeah. they just kept making him do it. Go <laughs> up and do it again. That was like, the only thing do he you did. Thing. Yeah. Go do your thing. Yeah, I uh, I will drop mine down 100% to a one and a half. Actually, if you drop it down 100%, you give it zero. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to drop it down to one and a half. From two and a half, so. Scott, Dan, Kelly, anybody? Kelly abstains, so his vote is still abstain. Oh, no, you can, is your vote still? You've, you've seen it, so you can. Is your vote still now. screaming to pillow? Still screaming to pillow. I'll give it a fucking one. It's a waste of time. A waste of Jericho's time. Is what yeah, it was. that I, w- I was saying not very long ago today that they got to realize that they don't have a ton of Jericho WrestleMania matches left. And this really seemed like a waste. But then again, this is also the same company that bumped off Mick Foley's. Uh, yeah, Hall of who, Fame Mick speech. Foley's whole Hall of Fame. Who didn't almost get to be on died TV. for this for the company. <laughs> yeah, almost literally died because in. Stephanie McMahon had to introduce Trish Stratus. Was it that, or was it also Trump? It was Trump. Trump. Yeah. They they actually did. Uh, they changed the hour long broadcast to, an to, hour... to seventy five minutes to get Foley on there. Okay. So he what partial part of his speech yeah. was on there. But, but not his whole speech, because his whole speech was an his, hour. His whole speech was an hour. I, I've <laughs> heard, though, that if you're going to watch any Hall of Fame from any of the last, like, eight years, that this is the one to watch. Apparently it was good. Because yeah. there's a lot of really good things. You have a lot of good Foley stuff. Apparently Foley was wonderful. Bob yeah. Backlund being a lunatic. Yeah. Backlund losing his mind. And, of course, Trish being the hottest Prager person it's on It sounded planet. like Backlund's speech was that Key and Peel sketch where it, they're interviewing the basketball player in the, <laughs> in the locker room after they won, and he's like, you can do anything if you believe it! You can fly! You can literally fly! Kids, get up to your rooftops! You can fly! Jump off! <laughs> you can fly! That's what it sounded like. So, I, I haven't seen it, but I really want to. And apparently, Funk introducing Foley was great, and then Foley was great. Yeah. So, and would, Trish is the hottest preggers person on the planet. And I want to put another baby in Trish's no, baby. No, you can't. That's Kelly's job. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Kelly's job is sorry. to get Trish Stratus pregnant every time she's not pregnant. <laughs> no, get, no. What was what did I say? You said something amazing. You get her oh, pregnant was, every day. It, yeah. If, uh, it was. I think Tristan, the guy we were watching, it was like, oh, man. Like, oh, she's pregnant. I'm like, Tristan, like, if I was married to Trish, she'd be pregnant every day. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Did anybody else hear the echo? Yeah, that was, that was good acoustics. <laughs> well, I didn't say it like that. I just no. decided to add that for prayers. <laughs> I, ju- I just like to point out that one of us is Metro Stratus and edit this guy. Yes. This yeah, guy. and you guys did not look a bunch of creeps. <laughs> <laughs> and I should have, but wasn't. But there. you're a fuck. Yeah. Sorry. Sad times. Uh, okay. So, uh, fuck. So Mel- Meltzer liked Jericho Fandango better than the Shield tag. That's stupid. Yeah, I don't. Get That's it. a bad. What's up, Dave? Decision. I'm I'm normally pretty much with you, Dave, but not on that. And there's some more stuff coming out that I'm also not. Oh with you well, on. you know, you got these guys just sit behind computers, right? They never put on a pair of tights. A bunch, bunch, bunch of fucking marks. <laughs> you try stepping in the <laughs> ring. <laughs> never placed up a pair of boots. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Don't blame me, Gorilla. I'm just I'm asking, asking a question. question. <laughs> Somehow <laughs> Governor Ventura makes an appearance. <laughs> Did you know oh, William? Dan. Did you know William Shakespeare didn't write William <laughs> Juliet? <laughs> it was the Earl of Oxford. <laughs> it was a pen name. <laughs> it was a panda. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> Pandas aren't real, oh, you know. Grocery. Um, yeah, no, three, three is too high. I'd go like two. Yeah, oh, I didn't, ac- uh, I don't think I actually said mine. Um, I think I would also say two. Yeah. And Kelly's answer is still screaming to a pillow. Uh, you, what'd you say? You, you said, said, said one. 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 Yeah, yeah I, I dropped down to one and a half. Which is harsh, but I'm not going to be mad at you for it. <laughs> um, all right, next one. Uh, Alberto Del Rio and Jack Swagger. The first title match. Uh, Man, we were mean with our predictions. Yeah. Well, Scott's Just looking at him. Scott, you said two. Which was the highest of the three of us. I said one. <laughs> Kelly said one and a half. 
And Dan said two and three quarters. And Big Dave gave it two and three quarters. Yeah. So Dan, you and Big Dave are best friends now. Apparently. Well, Dan... Dan predicting and Dave seeing yes. our best friends. Yes, but that match but, actually did have some good good spots. I, th- um, I it was better than I expected. They had yeah. some cool uh, ankle lock to armbar arm bar transitions. Yes, they did. Except for the fact nobody that dislocated their elbow, which is nice. Yep. Except for the cr- fact that the crowd hated it. Yeah. Because there was n- silence. Here's the, the thing: we're digging it again. Like we said before, you have guy playing a face who is not a face against a heel guy who is not very over as a heel. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you have was... nobody that anybody cares about. Yeah. Dirty the Dutch. two best workers in the match were outside the ring. Yep. Ricard- if... Okay, I, this is one thing that I was like screaming at my iPod when I was listening to you guys. Ricardo is not that good. Ricardo's so, awesome. Ricardo, Ricardo is great. He's I saw him... He's a fat guy who can do moonsaults. I saw him do an amazing crossbody in like a run-in. I've never I'm actually... basing all of my opinion on that. I've never actually seen him wrestle, so... No. I've never seen him wrestle a full match. I don't I think I need to. I have, and he's Are you telling fine, me that Ricardo is but... not a better worker than Jack Swagger? He's not, he's not better than Swagger or Alberto. Is he better than Dutch Mantel? Uh, no. Yeah. He's no, not. No, but, and Dirty no, Dutch no, getting a payday. No, and, and Dirty and Dutch's not, neither was other guy in the uh, in the ring. Dirty Dutch is the best worker there. Dirty Dutch's payday is still continuing because he's still on TV. That's so true. That makes yeah. me happy. Yeah. No, but I want yeah, I wanted I wanted the WrestleMania yeah. payday. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. My one. Uh. Like. Yeah. The heat kind of sucked, obviously, and that didn't help things. Um. The finish was just weird and out of nowhere. Yeah. It was like. Uh, like Alberto's kind of like hunting down Dutch, and then Swagger attacks him, throws him into the dasher board, throws him back into the ring, and then like, oh, caught out of nowhere, you get arm bar, arm bar done. We're done. Yeah, I'm it like, was... you guys know you're. I, I, I know you're not the world title match. You are a world title match. You're allowed to like, have a they finishing didn't build sequence. to a finish at all. Yeah, it was just completely out of nowhere. Like, so, you yeah. could have done a, a couple back and forths or yeah. something to work with, but. Yeah. Not yeah, not a lot for the finish, but I it was still better than the two stars I was expecting. I will say that. In, uh, fa- in fact, I'll say I'm, how many. I'm content with two and three quarters. I thought that was. I yeah I good. I'm yeah two and three quarters yeah. is what I get. yeah I'm I'm good with two and a half two and three quarters somewhere in that vicinity. Mm-hmm. And Kelly, what did I say it was? You said that it was one and a half. I'll give it like two and a quarter. Do you? Re- is Kelly rating the lowest on every single match? Most, you yes. Guys, you, this is this is you gotta understand. This is from years of me just of losing hate, faith in this of company. Hatred. Yes, <laughs> yes. So yes, no. I gave Mark Henry and Ryback, Lord and Kelly. But no, I'm talking about like our ratings now. Oh, our ratings now. Yeah, yeah Kelly, hundred percent. Yeah, okay. That's fair. He's not. He's not his own opinion. I'm not saying he's not. Now, if his opinion for this match isn't be- is uh, is low, I'm gonna tackle him and well, put my wiener in his face. It, I'm sure it'll be better than his other ones, but it might still be the lowest among us. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Mean Mark and the Cookie Monster. I enjoyed that. It was uh, good. So did the sh- so did the so did the crowd. So did the crowd. That was the only thing they enjoyed. So Scott gave it four and a quarter. Kelly and I both gave it four. Dan gave it three and three quarters. Because Dan's a pessimist. And Big Dave gave it four and a half. I I go four and a quarter personally. It was it was better than I was expecting. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think Mean Mark had it in him, and uh, I mean he he didn't really do that much, but no. like he still has that presence and like. And they put such a good match together. They did. It was a good match. Oh god, good. how about that false finish? That was the that was the good. best finish. False quick, finish. The quick tombstone. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. The, so the no, good. The no the yeah. The so the good. I bid on that. I, yeah. We all did. We all did. We all did. And uh, and, and also the the sit up out of the anaconda place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's oh, and crazy they, eyes? Yeah, they yeah. always put one of those kind of spots in, in his Mania matches, which you can't do in, like, most wrestling, like, in the yeah. context of most wrestling. Only in TV wrestling, really, can you do yeah, like, yeah, yeah. spots like that, right? That, like, are more... That's more theater than wrestling yeah. to me, right? But, um, like, yeah, his, like, selling, like, just the sit-up and, like, punks, like, oh, shit, and just, like, the whole dynamic of it, that yeah. was awesome. I popped for that huge, so... Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that I was yelling, kiss him. <laughs> kiss, kiss him! Kiss him! And then they didn't Pudge kiss. Punch ass. Kiss him. Yeah, I thought they worked a pretty good... And, like, the thing, too, is we had we'd already seen Taker Punk before when they were feuding on SmackDown. Oh, this is much better than anything and, they did in that. And, match. absolutely, like, going into it, I thought, eh, a lot of those matches weren't very good, but 
this one, yeah, I give it four. I, I think it was better than four. Uh, I did predict it to be the best match on the card, and to me, it still was the best it match was on the card. Easily the best so, match. I think no question, it was the best. Uh, match I would on give the card. I would give it four and a half. I'm I'm okay with yeah. Big Dave's uh, rating for four and a half. Yeah, Scott. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, certainly not gonna argue anything with Dave giving it four and a half. Uh, personally, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my stick with my four and a quarter. Um, um, just to be cool. Just to be cool. Say so I can say I nailed it beforehand. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, no, it was very good, and I think I said on the last one that it would definitely be their best match against each other and way better than any of the 0-9 yeah. matches, and yeah. definitely was, definitely happy about that. Easily the best match on the show by at least half a star, <laughs> if not more. Um, and, yeah, they I thought they delivered nicely, and it was just, it was, like, they didn't do anything wrong. It was just about the best match they could do. Yep. I will give it four and a quarter, but I will... Don't do that. I will... I am tempted to give it four and a half simply for the fact that Punk put on ten pounds of fat for that match. <laughs> yeah, Punk was oddly chunky for he this He had match. a tiny belly. Oh, and... Oh, it actually, I almost do want to give it an extra quarter. And Drew... I want to give Drew an extra quarter to whatever next match of his he deems worthy. Oh, yeah. Because Drew called Punk wearing black and purple for Undertaker. And that was a nice call, and I'm also glad he did it. Yeah. I don't know that I called it. I just said, "Oh man, it would be super cool if Punk came out with old like purple and black gear, yeah, or like purple, black, and gray gear. Mm-hmm. Like that would be totally awesome." And yeah. then it happened. And he did, and it was awesome. Uh, and Dan, you're, you're gonna four and a quarter. Yeah, Dan's going four and a quarter. So we all went up on ours except for Scott, who stayed at what he was at. So nailed it. Yes. And Dave, yeah, and, and Dave, Dave said too. Dave was Dave nice and. Four and a half. Yeah. Now, he was nice to that match, not so nice the next he one. He was no. pretty, he, pretty harsh on the next. He was not a fan of Brock and Hunter, which his rating might be a little low. Um, I think it is. Scott, you gave it three and three quarters. Kelly and I both gave it three. And Dan gave it four and a quarter. I thought it was going to be the best match on the show. How I did really you did. think it was going to be better than Taker Punk? I didn't think Taker had it in him. And you, I, and you thought Trips and Brock were going to do Cena Brock? Sort of. I yeah. didn't think they were going to both come in gas to the gills. They were, <laughs> they were two they were huge both, men. They were both huge. They were both so slow. They were disgusting. And apparently Brock got knocked silly early in the match. Like, really like, early. Yeah. Triple H had to call, like, six or seven minutes. Like, wow. Like, midway through the match. Do we know what he what he got knocked on? On a knee, apparently. Weird. Yeah. I, I didn't even know. Right, I didn't notice right, it. Right at the beginning of the match. I'm not sure what it was. But, yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I thought they'd come in better shape, and I thought, yeah, the intensity would be there. I thought the heat would be there. That, like, it's a weird match to call. Like, Dave gave it two and a half, and on one hand, I'm thinking, yep, yeah, that's about right, because from my enjoyment level, it was a chore to watch that match. Like, it was. It was, a, it was a, a, this match was a slog. Yeah. There were cool spots yeah, in it, yeah. and cool moments, but there were definitely moments that dragged. I thought all the Kimura stuff was, like... Painful. Yeah, I was gonna say, did yeah, anybody else yeah. hate the lead up to the to the finish? Yeah. Like, How about when none of the announcers called uh, the DDT <laughs> the DDT on the steps, yeah. which set up the finish? I saw it as it was as it was coming. Okay, he's grabbing a guillotine. Oh, he slammed him. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Like I get it. And then and then like, nothing. And we're like, oh, did they? Was that not the case? And then they go to replay while like, Vince is clearly screaming in their ears, yeah. losing his shit. Yeah. Cranky Vince on Twitter, I'm sure, is going nuts at the same time. Um, Finish was fine. I would not want to take that bump on the Triple H end of the spectrum. <laughs> oh, knees um, on stairs. Uh, knees on stairs isn't funny. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Mine I, hurt watching that. That's that's a tough one to rate, though. I honestly don't know what. To, I, don't know, I wasn't four and a quarter. I'll tell you that. But uh, no. No, but like, I think we can. Can we all agree it was less than four? <laughs> yes. I think that's yeah. fairly. Safe. I, th- I think I'm going to stick with my three. Um, it may be lower than that, but. I didn't see anything in it that I absolutely like. I was like, ugh, fuck. Like, I didn't like the Kimura stuff. I thought it was dumb, but I didn't hate it. Like, I was, I figured, like that was what they were working towards. Triple H came back from the fastest arm break in the history of uh, two. human, two human of healing. The two of the fastest human, human healing in the history of the world. Yeah. Um, and then how about the fact 
that Brock gave the meanest elbow to Shawn Michaels' face. Oh, yeah. oh destroyed him. Like, didn't even care. Just like, no. fuck it, I'm breaking his nose. Wham! I'm Brock Lesnar, and you're dressed like an asshole. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna break your nose. Sean, who did not give a shit that it was WrestleMania. Nobody told Sean it was WrestleMania. He, he came straight from a hunt. He showed up in the building. They're like, oh, where are your bags? Oh, I don't need bags. <laughs> well, but what are you going to wear? This? Well, he, he realized that New Jersey is all swampland, so he came prepared with his big old boots and his jeans. <laughs> yeah, he was good to go. Figured he had to wade through some water to get to the arena, so... And, of course, the uh, the one-sided stipulation worked out in one man's favor. <laughs> all right, if you lose, you can't wrestle anymore, but if you win... The, ah, you, then, then you win. I, the winner. I, there's the rub. You get to continue. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Continue wrestling one match a year. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. He could have lost. He could have lost a retirement match and still wrestled next year anyway. Because who gives a shit after a year? <laughs> I'm sure that a lot of people would have forgotten. Yeah. They've done. They've done worse. Way worse than that. Yeah. Pretty much. Didn't John Cena get fired and was on TV? He was either the next week or yeah. like 13 days later. Yeah. Or when CM Punk's contract expired and he was on Missed the next zero. show. Missed zero episodes of television. Yeah. So that was uh, good. So anyways, I- I'm going to stick with my three because it wasn't terrible. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, yeah. you also gave it three. I did. I'll, I'll stick with three as well. Um, it-, it wasn't... I don't know. I-, I don't really know what I was expecting because, like, Lesnar can really... F- well, I mean, I, then again, this is the old Lesnar, right? You could really fucking toss you around, stuff like that. But then again, this is Triple H, who... Oh, those Germans were so... They were. <laughs> they were so the that. lowest Germans. Oh, I was it, just thinking that, like, the it Germans like, were... It, oh. it, did they leave the ground at all? Yeah, they did. I think, they were, making, I think they were making contact with the ground it was at all like, points. It was like Triple German. H was bumping on Lesnar. They were basically O'Connor roles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like an old man being German suplex into bed. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Slowly and gingerly. 7.30 pops. Boom. <laughs> Sleepy time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, uh, it... It was so... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, underwhelming, I guess. Maybe it's... For me, just... I was expecting maybe a little bit more, but... Because, I mean, it's WrestleMania, and I kind of thought maybe Trips would be a little bit more ballsier yeah. and do some more stuff, but... And Lesnar would go crazy like he did against Cena, but I'm so disappointed that I didn't get my spot. Oh yeah, your oh. spot. Your spot was really good. I'm so sad, but at the same time, it was made up for when after Michaels got popped in the face and he and he pouted around the ring to the far side, yes, and, and he was just laying there up against the ra- like the guardrail or like the the yeah. barrier, just. L- Laying there in the saddest position, looking like he was barely breathing, yeah. selling the back elbow. Because yeah, he was probably so pissed at it about his nose. Yeah. No, exactly. That's, ex- that's exactly Fuck it. I'm not selling. Yeah. I'm going to sit here until they need me. <laughs> Drew's, uh, Drew's potential spot was, if he didn't hear the last one, which is an awesome spot, is like Brock takes down trips, like signal signals to the top rope. Everyone loses their fucking mind because like, oh my god, he's gonna go for the shooting star. Gets up to the top rope, is standing straight up on the top rope as if he's gonna do it. Flips everyone off, jumps down, and just goes back to pummeling Triple H. Such a good spot. Wish they had done it. I would have given it an extra, especially an extra four stars. Lesnar is Lesnar is a, like a, a that big of a dick that he would totally do that. Yeah. Like ah fuck you fucking marks and then get down and like. I'm not doing any shit for you. But this this uh, potential spot was predicated on the fact that uh, Lesnar would be able to balance on the top rope and yeah, he at, might not be able and to at his there. and his size. <laughs> I don't know if he's making it to the second rope. Yeah, he was a goddamn behemoth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was so he although he did um, when they were fighting on the outside oh, yeah. the announcer he did do that oh, insane cool. like flex and yell, <laughs> ah, which was amazing. <laughs> oh man, how Triple H just bumps on the table. Oh, he thought apparently he like really injured his arm on that as well. Really? Yeah. yeah, that looked that looked really good though. Like yeah, he yeah, really took that bump off. Oh, tossed on the how, suplex. How, yeah. How about when Punk did the the elbow from Ooh, the top yeah. of the table and the table did not give? Yeah. Which is weird because those tables break like nothing usually. Like Punk and Rock when it just Game. fell apart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and uh, 
And Brock's right early when they were brawling on the outside, when Brock was sitting on oh, the uh, that's what I thought you sitting on the dasher boards and yeah. trips clotheslined him oh. over, and Brock just like a total head bumped on it. I heard, uh, I believe, uh, long time listener, uh, zero time caller to this show, Alex McConnell, uh, posted uh, that he he <laughs> when he took the clothesline, he bumped on his head to protect his tattoo. <laughs> 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 Which was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, delightful! Oh, man. so yeah, so there, like, there were some cool things in it, and actually, what um, what Meltzer said in his uh, report on it was that on paper it reads like a four and a half star classic, but man, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, no. The crowd was dead, and a lot of stuff just wasn't clicking with anyone. So yeah, rating is rating. This is weird. I could rate it. Uh, and depending on my mood, anywhere from two and a half to like three and three quarters. But, d- yeah, I don't know. Did you all give it three? I, I mean, Kelly stuck with three. Dan, what'd you give it? Because you, you, you give four it and a quarter. Or are you sticking with your four and a quarter? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking two and a half is fine. Two and a half? I mean, it, it essentially failed at the map. Yeah, it did it, fail. It, it, I didn't, yeah, I didn't see the first uh, Trips Brock, so I didn't know yeah, yeah, yeah. how they worked together. What are you doing I, with your time? I don't know. Not watching SummerSlam 2012, apparently. Yep. Um, you are it, correct to do so, sir. Basically, I was just hope I was just hoping for Brock Cena, and definitely didn't get it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I've said it before. I would definitely give Brock Cena three and three quarters, and I might have given it five if Brock had won, and they weren't terrible bookers. Four and three quarters. What did I say? Three and three quarters. Yes. No. I. I would. Yeah. No. I would give Brock and Cena four and three quarters yeah, it was for an awesome sure. Match. Yeah. It was yeah, awesome. Was great. Um, so what are you giving this one? Um, fuck. One and a half. <laughs> Six um, tenths. I, Five. yeah, I'll go with the crowd and go three, I guess. Three? Yeah. Six tenths can be friggin'... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, reduce your... <laughs> reduce your fractions, people! Yeah, I gotcha. Anyways, uh, that brings us to the main event oh. of uh, John Cena and Dwayne Johnson. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scott, you get... Scott... Me, Dan, and Big Dave. Dave, after seeing it. After seeing it, all gave it three and a half, and Kelly gave it three. Um, I am going to come forward and say that for this match, I think we barely watched it. Yeah. Because the majority of us were talking. <laughs> we had lost interest. I had no interest in watching this match. I, tr- I tried to still like keep my eyes on. Yeah, the, I, I think we saw most of the spots. It. Yeah. Uh, we definitely saw Cena bitch out on missing the leg drop. Oh yeah, he uh, he did the uh, did the figure four landing. Yep. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice dances. I thought you um, said a lot of ridiculous. How like seriously the everything building up to the finish was horrible. Yeah. Rock rock bottom counter spin out. Oh, yeah. go for an, an uh, attitude adjustment. Oh, get down. Go for rock bottom. Oh, spin out. Back up for an attitude adjustment. Like for two was, two minutes. It was sloppily done. Too, yeah. There was, a, there was one. Because also they are two big hulking. Yeah. Loads so they're they're two point. monsters. There was one sequence I remember liking a lot. There I don't a, remember exactly. Yeah. A, a, couple a couple things. Like, a couple exchanges. things worked, and a couple were slow. Yeah. Oh, how about uh, it was right near the end when I think when Cena was gonna do the people's elbow. Yeah. And and then, and Rock ended up stopping him, but when Cena like ran to do the people's elbow. It was the slowest run yeah, oh yeah. I've ever seen in the wrestling He ring. runs the ropes worse than I do. It was amazing, actually. I'm like, I thought he was like selling an injury or something. I'm like, oh no, he's just running really, <laughs> he really, He just has really no slow. speed. He is slower than me when I do those drop kicks on the apron. Yes. <laughs> yes. He just had no momentum. And I don't know if it was because he was afraid he was going to fuck up. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> like, know. It was really weird. And like, how about the fact that he cannot take a rock bottom. I don't know. I said. I said yeah. it was because he at least didn't foot bump this year. No, but, but he they still, still weren't good. You know who can take a rock bottom? The Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he can. He took it like a fucking Here's champ. One. It's his move. He should know how to take he it. He knows the ins and outs of the rock bottom. I will give him that. That Ugh. and after seeing the awesome th- fucking three way vengeance in O two or whatever it was. O two. He, that might be the best match I've ever seen. Yeah. It's so good. He takes an excellent one in that match, too. Yep. Yeah, those who haven't seen it, go seek out right now. Pause this. Go find Rock Angle Taker 
three-way from Vengeance 02, because goddamn, that is a match, folks. Yes, yes, it is. It's so good. And man, that match does nails finisher stealing. This match does not. Did not. Way too many kickouts. And oh, someone, um, someone on the internet, and I, I do try not to Name use, names. use the internet. No, no, just like, like a random person. I was gonna say I try not to use the internet. <laughs> um, had said, um, people don't realize how much uh, Kurt Angle's wrestling has affected the way crowds treat matches. Because literally since Angle started doing it in the early to mid-2000s, it, in pay-per-view main events, the crowd does not react to anything until the first finisher has been kicked out of. Then they're like, okay, now the finish can happen sometime. Mm-hmm. But like, if like the first rock bottom or the first FU, eh? nothing. Because they know it's getting kicked out it's of. Called an attitude adjustment. I'm sorry. You gotta get it PG PG here. Buddy. You know how much I love the original Cena Brock feud that brought us the FU in the first place. So I do still call it that. PG. 2003. Also, I guess. Uh, the attitude adjustment is a pile driver done by Lex Luger in 1991. Oh. <laughs> Told John Cena. How about that? How That's dare true. you? Very very true. They don't even call it the attitude adjustment. They call it the AA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's Austin Aries. So or Alcoholics now, Anonymous. Or Alcoholics Anonymous. So now we got another or Alex pickle. Anthopoulos, but <laughs> the or, Blue Jays general manager. <laughs> or or Arn and, Anderson. Or or Andy Ardvark. <laughs> or American Automotive. No. That's triple A. American Automotive, nothing. Anyway, so that move. Yeah, but yeah, it's too bad that they don't, uh, that the first finisher never gets a reaction anymore. And, uh, and I, I, I discussed this with, uh, one Alex McConnell, uh, how the spot where Cena went to do the people's elbow again, The Rock got up to cut him off, but Cena held onto the ropes and did like that, uh, 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 I say you're coming. Yeah. And then I'm pretty sure they did a finish there. They got kicked out of, I can't remember what it was. Yes, they did. That should have been the finish. Wasn't it, yeah. ju- wasn't it just Rock DDT? No, I don't think so. I think it was like him going for a rock, or I think it was a it was a rock put him into a nephew, probably because like, that was, happened a few times. Yeah, there was a lot of those. Yeah, no, it was. I don't think it was a DDT. I'm pretty sure it was one of them hitting the finishes, but it yeah. should have been the finish. Yeah, it should have. But I think there was oh, there was so many. There kick-outs. was eight more kickouts. It, like, after it that. became parody. Like it, it did. Was, it was like whoa, was, there like, really. It was painful to watch. Yeah, I was um, I was angry by the end. I didn't like it. Yeah, is it? I don't know. It's just the way the way wrestling is now that a lot of the reasons I think a lot of people hated it. Well, I sorry, I should say the the crowd wasn't into it is because what's the fucking point? Because you know who's gonna win. Like, it. How obvious was it gonna be that Cena was gonna get his win back? Pretty obvious. Like, there's no like, and that's the thing. That's what I hate about wrestling today is there's no fucking surprises left. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember when Lesnar came back and everybody lost their shit. It wasn't a surprise to anybody who was there because of the internet and what have you, right? They're all yeah. like, they all had Lesnar signs. You knew he was coming back. Whereas if that no one knew, how big would that would have been? Yeah. So like, and this I mean this doesn't really have anything to do with the internet as far as you know Cena winning. It's just the fact that it's hard to care about a match that has no like you know what the outcome's going to be. No and drama there's no drama to it. So there's like what's the point of getting excited about this all these like false finishes when we know you're we know who your golden boy is. Yeah. Like and we and it's just been building up for the last while like we know who's going to win. So that I don't know. I, that's I think a big reason as to why they killed it I for do, a lot of people as well. I do feel like though that now that ever since they've become more of a uh, a younger audience is their target that they don't really seem to care as much about us, like the yeah. older fans, because they don't overly try to hide anything. Like, you know, it, it would ne- they would they would they want the kids to cheer for John Cena, so they're not going to build it up, build yeah. it up, and go, oh, all the fucking marks have figured out that Cena's winning. Well, let's change it. Mm-hmm. Now it just seems like, well, we want the kids to cheer for John Cena. We want to sell more John Cena merchandise, so John yeah. Cena's fucking winning. Yeah. Which is weird, because what's, what's the stat? Isn't it like half their audience over 30 or something? 
Like a pretty big chunk. Oh, it's over. It's older than that. Over forty like, or something. Like, oh, Forty-five. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's really. It's really high. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, yeah. I did see a forty to fifty-year-old man in my store the other day wearing a DX shirt, and not an old DX shirt. One from like oh, their, oh, one of the their DX more shirts? their more recent runs. Love it. That's something I wouldn't do uh, at that age or or this age or you're still going to. or ten years ago. <laughs> in ten years, you'll be wearing a DX shirt. I probably will. But yeah. it'll be it'll be cool then. But like yeah. the, all all the people who watched during the boom, like during like like all the college kids yeah. who yeah. watched o- old, during, older than us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're all pushing forty. They're forty. Yeah. They're yeah. all almost yeah. forty. So yeah. Um. Anyways. Yeah. Star ratings. Um. Yeah. Star ratings. Uh. Three and a half from me, Scott, and Dan. Kelly gave her three. Yeah. No. What do we think now, though? Yeah. I no. I'm, I'm saying. Those, I don't think. I'm saying those were. Nah, what, what, what you gave. Big Dave gave it three and a half. I get so Big Dave thought this was the second best match on the show. Big Dave might be retarded. I don't know what they, uh, the, again. There's not like a clear second best, I guess. But Batista does not know what he's talking about. Mm. <laughs> I'd be interested what Dave gave last year's Cena Rock. I think it was similar to this. Look it up. So was three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what was better between this and last year. I didn't really like either. Uh, no, last year was better. Last year had a little bit last more... Last year was sloppier. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Last year had more heat. Yeah. 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 Last year did have heat. We all... I mean, we all assumed, okay, The Rock's going to win, but there was, it wasn't a foregone conclusion yeah. that The Rock was going to win. Yeah, this was a guarantee. This a guarantee. Yeah, this is guaranteed that Cena was going to get his win back, which, yeah. uh, you know, was whatever. Yeah, it's... But, it's, um, yeah. but yeah, no, uh, I, I think I liked last year's a lot better. I And there was... It wasn't as obscene with the kickouts last year. Like. Oh, was, no, this this year was, in, this was, was stupid. Just, yeah. It got really dumb. Yeah. Uh, uh, fuck. I don't know. Two and a half, maybe two and a quarter. Like, I would give it two and a quarter. Fuck it. I was actually also gonna give it two and a quarter. Um. Hmm. Yeah. I gotta go. I can't go any higher than four and a half because this match fucking ruled. Um. Oh, you know there's a guy out there who believes that, by the way. Oh, I'm sure a lot of people yeah. gave, it, gave it five because it's Cena and The Rock, and they love Cena and The Rock, and more power to them, but uh, they're wrong. Uh, two and a half because I'm super nice. Super that nice. That is super nice. So that, uh, that kind of ends our uh, WrestleMania review. Now can we talk about the show that happened on WrestleMania weekend that was way better than WrestleMania? You may. I can't. Cool. Kelly can't but that's because we didn't invite him. I think we did. I think you guys did. <laughs> yeah, there was... So I'll let Scott read these ones because I'm right. not as into the Jap Graps as yeah. Scott and Dan are. We'll just, we'll blast through it. Quick. And I guess Kelly. And Kelly... I like Jap Graps. Kelly can throw opinions where he sees fit, but we'll go through it quick because uh, Kelly didn't see it. While you guys are doing that, me and Drew will watch my giant. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie and your Zan's a good way plan. to go. Where where are you going? We're going to watch my giant. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's he doing? I guess he's peeing in because he's unprofessional. He watched the show though. I I know, That's, but he uh, doesn't like Jeff Grass. That's what he just I said. I wanted his opinion. Yeah, though. so did I. So I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna someone's giving me the the stretch <laughs> the, the stretch hand sign to as opposed uh, to the wrap it up hand as opposed sign? to the wrap it up. But the two are often confused uh, to fill time while Drew pees. Um, but I guess we could talk about the first match, because I'm the only one who saw that, uh, which was, uh, for the... You need to tell people what the show is. Oh, yeah, let's, let's do that first. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess I just sort of alluded to it with the, the show on WrestleMania weekend that was better, because there were, like, 8,000 indie shows, too. I'm sure a lot of which were also better than, yeah, uh, the than WrestleMania. The, the Ring of Honor, like Ring of Honor sounded better, Dragon, Dragon Gate, Evolve, yeah. um, so yeah, so lots of stuff. Oh, Chikara. Yeah, so pretty much, pretty much everything. WrestleMania might have been the worst Shimmer. show that weekend. Yeah. Shimmer. Heard Shimmer was good. Yeah. That was... I, that's probably wrong, because there's a lot of white girls on it, and they can't wrestle. But... That's also kind of <laughs> my a part of my, my hatred towards things, is that it feels like WrestleMania is just treated as a regular pay-per-view now. It's like, yeah, it's supposed to be the biggest show of the year, that, but... That was a big problem with this year's, I thought. Yeah, the match quality wasn't necessarily there, and, like, the price went up, too. Yeah, the like, price went up for reasons unexplained. Because it's got uh, mania in it. Cause, well, and also because they want to... Record because they want they want to set their record and yeah. they want to lie about their attendance record. Right? Oh well, they always do they that. Oh, they're but, gonna do that um, anyway. Um, 
But one thing, oh, and also on that, the speaking of indies from that weekend, uh-huh. did, I know you watched it. I don't know if these two watched it. The what? clip of Jun Kasai. Drew did. Oh, my. Drop toe hold Everyone in. did. I, awesome! Here's the thing. I saw the drop toe hold face first into it. Yeah. I didn't see the drop toe hold uh, on, the, on the ground, with, on the stomach. No, it was it was the face first into the thing. It was that was on the, the, oh, I, thought, I, I thought he took another one. No, and just went, okay, no, 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 I saw it. Yeah, and his entire head looked like blood everywhere. It was awesome. Dumped yeah. in red paint. It was <laughs> the grossest thing. Sick. Oh, my knee's going out. That's and he oh, no, no. he uh, must have had the biggest boner. Oh yeah, yeah. He had a colossal smile on his face. Well, he's a crazy masochist. So yeah. Is. Now That's before we continue gross. to jab grabs and indie stuff. Uh, can I let it be known on verbal audio that this is the last WrestleMania I will watch? Shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> Same thing every year for six goddamn Same years. Same old shit. Same old <laughs> shit. Same old shit. Same old shit. Same old shit. Of course, until Tristan and I go to WrestleMania next year. Yeah, aren't you year? talking about going to WrestleMania <laughs> yeah. next year? Uh, uh, Drew, do you really want to go to WrestleMania I hope fucking Katrina 2 drowns you. Like the one that was... I don't care. Year. It's WrestleMania 30. Harsh, Dan? A little bit. Okay. Wait, what? I said, I hope you get drowned by Katrina 2 when you go to New Orleans. <laughs> Katrina 2! <two. laughs> because they do that, right? I, when like, another big storm comes to the same place, they make it the sequel. I would love for them to call it Katrina 2. <laughs> uh, did you hear, apparently, Hurricane Sandy was downgraded to Superstorm Super Storm. Super Storm Sandy? You betcha. That's Which sounds actually scarier. A little bit. It's a would you rather get hit by a hurricane or a superstorm? Holy shit. Well, the that's hurricane a, was a shitty word. Superstorm so. sounds biblical. <laughs> Anyways. Talk, so, talk yeah, what we're guys. talking about is uh, late on the Saturday night before WrestleMania, we ordered a better pay-per-view by the name of New Japan Pro Wrestling Invasion Attack. Yes. And uh, we've seen several of these pay-per-views, and they're always really, really good. And always worth staying up till 4 in the morning. And always before. worth watching them from midnight until 4 a.m. Uh, so the first match we missed because Drew needed to get a Tim Hortons iced cappuccino. <laughs> I would have fallen asleep, and I did anyway. You did anyway. <laughs> but so I would have fallen asleep for the whole show. But at least you got to see Rob Conway. That's I so saw everything saving. except for half of the Davy Boy Smith yeah. match. So the opener was uh, the for the junior tag team titles champions Alex Shelley and Kushida defending against uh, Prince Devitt and Raisuki Taguchi, which we got to saw the finish of. Uh, or the post match of which we'll get to in a sec because it was awesome. I like all those guys. And uh, oh yeah, the, all those guys are really good wrestlers. And uh, according to Dave Meltzer, they had a four star match. I I watched it uh, just uh, while fucking around on the computer, so I don't I didn't give it a hundred percent attention. But uh, it it all it looked very good. It was ten minutes. Um, I don't know. It's tough to do four stars in ten minutes. Not impossible. Um, the finish was. They didn't have a crazy finishing sequence. The finish was no, uh, like an O'Connor roll with a bridge by Kushida, Kushida. and um, so I'd I'd have no problem giving it uh, three and a half, three and three quarters, perhaps three and five eighths. Um, four is slightly high, but I'm not gonna yell at you for doing it. So yeah, it was de- it was definitely a fun match for sure. And then the post match uh, after Devitt and Taguchi lost, <laughs> Devitt uh, turned <laughs> straight up heel. Uh, and I believe tried to <laughs> tried to cut <laughs> Raisuki Taguchi's head off yeah. with a, a clothesline from behind, and uh, then introduced his new bodyguard, yeah. the underboss, Bad Luck Fale. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Which was the returning uh, King Fale, who's a Tongan dude related to all Everyone's the gone. people who wrestle from Tonga and Samoa and everywhere. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty awesome name. <laughs> Uh, I always approve of more than one nickname. Yeah. Oh, and the other awesome thing that happened was uh, Captain New Japan came out <laughs> to Taguchi's defense, yeah. only to have his mask ripped off and shoved down Devitt's pants. Direct- yeah, that was up his, up his directly into his butthole. <laughs> and, and then Devitt put the mask on his own Oh head. my god. Because <laughs> he forgot that it was in his butthole. Uh, the other thing that was uh, friggin' phenomenal was uh, I watched... The eight-man tag uh-huh. from the show, uh, it would have been at the end of March, the last eye pay-per-view they did, yeah. which was the uh, team captained by Tanahashi versus the team captained by Carl Anderson or, or mm-hmm. Devitt, however you you know look at it, yeah. where Devitt was slowly uh, hinting at the heel turns, yeah. and p- poor Captain New Japan got 
Uh, Bloody Sunday. Actually, no. Here's here's the uh, the order of <laughs> awful things that happened to him. He got uh, gun stunned by Carl Anderson. Then <laughs> Devitt gave him a uh, double foot stomp to the dick oh. <laughs> off the top rope, and then gave him the Bloody Sunday nice. and just drilled him on it for the finish. So <laughs> Devitt as a heel is going to be awesome. Also, he had he before this match he turned heel on Twitter. Oh yeah, <laughs> and has been posting hilarious things about uh, Japanese wrestlers who don't speak English, so they so they'll never find out. I, about I it. am I am still borderline potentially going to get a smartphone just so I can follow Prince David on Twitter. So. <laughs> Anyways, next match. Next match was an eight man tag team attraction with Bob Sapp and Aki Bono on either side. Hey. Aki Boner. Aki Boner. <laughs> apparently, everyone else liked this match more than we did. Weird. Yeah. I wasn't even there. I can. T- it, it was like mostly undercard ish guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was. It was all right. Like people are giving it I three, think, three stars. Yeah, people are giving it three, three and a half. Mel- Meltzer gave it three, three and a quarter. quarter. Yeah. Um, probably high. Yeah. I think. It was fine. It was fine. Um, Bob Sapp is really bad at wrestling. He's not good. <laughs> he I is. Akibono, on the other hand, not bad. Yeah, for, he's not bad at all. For a giant, for a giant fat asshole. <laughs> Who's in his forties? Who's in his forties? Yeah. He, yeah, his timing's good. Yeah. Like all that stuff. He's, yeah, he's fine. Um, yeah, I, I, I'd go two and a half. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it worked all right. Drew. Two. two. Yeah. Two-ish. Because no it problem. was nothing special. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next up was for the uh, CMLL tag uh, titles. Which was uh, Tamatanga and El Terrible, which is Spanish for the Terrible. <laughs> 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 uh, taking on uh, La Mascara? La Mascara and, and Valiente. Valiente. Val- I really like. I, I think La Mascara is probably the better wrestler overall. Yes. But I love Valiente <laughs> spots. He's, he's much better. Valiente <laughs> spots are fucking sweet. Valiant is a stout little dude who does moonsaults from the stupidest positions he can think of in the ring, and I really appreciate that in him. Uh, but it was it was a fun match. It was didn't, good. didn't go real long. Uh, Dave gave it three and a quarter. I uh, wouldn't argue with that. I'd probably go three myself. Yeah, two three quarters, three in there. Yeah, good. Drew nods his approval of nods three. nods approval of three. Yeah, it, yeah, per- perfectly good. They did some fun stuff. Didn't go that long. Uh, next up was a, uh, very good... (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Kelly doing a reference to the comedian we hung out with at PWG who guest starred on New Girl last week. So, this is a reference for none of you. <laughs> but any of you for New Girl Zoe watchers, Deschanel, if, you, to our if you saw a fat black homeless man singing, uh, we're friends with him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, next up was a very good tag match that I hope is going to lead to an even better singles match at the mm. next iPay pay per view. It will. It is going to be, if it's anything like their last one. Yep. Uh, we had the heel chaos team of uh, possibly Drew's favorite Japanese wrestler, Masato Tanaka, and yeah. Yujiro uh, taking on uh, the face team of Great Bash Heel <laughs> 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 of Togi Makabe and uh, Tomoaki Hanma, who, along with Tomohiro Ishii, uh, most underrated guy in Japan. Yep. What's, uh, what's my boy Strongman doing these days? He is wrestling on the next pay-per-view. Yeah! Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. And you, you better come see it. Um, so yeah, uh, very good tag match. Uh, I don't think it went super long. Like nine, ten minutes. Yeah, it was another ten-ish minute. Uh, Dave loved it. Yeah. Dave gave it four and a quarter. Uh, probably too high. I very much enjoyed it, though. They did lots of good stuff. Yeah. Um, I'd go three and three quarters. Yeah, somewhere in there, three and a half. Yeah. Quarters. Thoughts. I was also gonna say three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Definitely a good match. Uh, next up was a guy who I hated for a long time since coming back to pro wrestling, and I think two thousand four from shoot fighting, uh, Pancrase mostly, and uh, I have absolutely loved for probably coming on a year now, uh, Minoru Suzuki. Uh, taking on Toru Yano. Hold on a sec. I... 
I seem to be recalling you telling me how much of a scumbag Minozuki was, and I shouldn't like him. Yes, and I... I don't know, I think for a while I was right, right? Like, he he was not good to watch for a time, right? I'm not... He wasn't... Yeah, he way wasn't off base. great, no. I, I was basing a lot of my hate, because, like, he didn't... Um, he, he actually did always have good matches at the Tokyo Dome with Yuji Nagata. Yes. Uh, yeah. since, since coming back, because he... Like, back in 2004, I think. Um, but, uh, my main hate was based on a, I think it was a Noah GHC title match, him and Kintsuki Sasaki went, I think, 37 minutes, oh, and it was God. fucking horrible! I wouldn't want to watch him do that. No. God damn it, it was so bad. And, um, uh, yeah, so I just hated Suzuki, I'm like, uh, he just does, like, a bunch of fucking heel bullshit, and I hate him, and I hate you. Um, I uh, seem to recall uh, the King of Pancras, where it was him versus Shamrock. I think it was him versus Shamrock. And sh- he had Shamrock in a guillotine, and Shamrock fucking lifted him up, dead lifted him up, uh, Northern Light Suplex Stone float over into Americana. Awesome. That was the finish. <laughs> it's a good finish. Pancras, always real. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, don't be sleeping on Minu Suzuki anymore, because uh, he had a five-star match last year against Tanahashi, and I will back that up, because it was really good. Yes, it was. Uh, so him and Toriyano here. Toriyano, a, uh, one of the lower-level uh, Chaos guys. Uh, I, Suzuki's technically the heel? Uh, yeah. Yeah, even though uh, Yano's entire offense is... Punching people in the dick. Is punching people in the <laughs> dick and giving them school boys. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, so... Like Gordon and stuff. Yeah, yeah so uh, it, it was pretty good. I, I They probably overrated it again. Dave gave it three and a half. Yeah, I'd go like three. I'd go three also. I it, think three said It was fine. The, um, the... This served its purpose, which was get Suzuki over Absolutely. more as a killer, which he did. He, he beat the shit out of Yano. And, uh, because he's getting the next uh, title shot, which will be great, uh, because we've seen the match before, but we'll get to that. Uh, next up was such a bummer! Oh, yeah, I heard about this. Yuji Nagata and Hiroki Goto versus... Yuji Nagata, possibly my second favorite Japanese wrestler. Possibly Drew's second favorite Japanese wrestler, and nothing wrong with that. Uh, taking on Laughter 7 of Kazushi Sakuraba, who has done nothing but amazing things since coming back. <laughs> and the same thing with his partner, Katsuyori Shibata. Uh, this match was, was awesome. Was on pace. Oh, so oh, good. For, okay, here's the thing. I'll, I'll like start. Four and a half. I'm, <laughs> sta- I'm going to start at the end and go back. Yeah. Dave, Dave gave this three and three quarters. Yeah. Uh, this match only got to go halfway. Yeah. So by that logic, this match was seven and a half stars. Yeah. And I have no problem with that. Because this match, for what happened in it, was so fucking good. I love this. Right. I'm so into every Sakuraba and Shibata Absolutely. tag. They're, they're awesome. They're amazing as a team. They're yeah. so fucking awesome. They are the perfect... Like, everything works. Yes. It's the best. It's got that, like, sense of, like, there's, like... Un- Realism, un- 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 danger, unpredictability. Yeah. yeah. yeah there's a it's real- so cool. Yes. And they have cool shirts, too, and I yes, want them. Yes, they do. <laughs> Um, but they're probably 12,000 yen. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, $1,200. Uh, or something like no, that. it's like 1000 120 bucks. But, um, oh, is it 100 to 1? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I'm thinking of whatever that currency is. That, that's 10 to 1. That isn't yen. Dong. Yeah. Dong. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this match had crazy things, uh, most of which involved Nagata and Sakuraba. Yes. Uh, and Nagata giving Sakuraba the craziest oh, the goddamn suplexes, suplexes you ever seen. Like, the hardest belly-to-belly I've ever seen. Really early in the match. One of the nastiest Germans ever seen. That Like, uh, Sakuraba didn't have a choice in the matter. He just got dumped. Yeah, Sakuraba basically took an uh, a Vader Inoki German bump. And then the finish, which I'm pretty sure what was supposed to happen was Nagata went to give him a backdrop, yeah. Sakuraba went to do the cutback, and was probably going to go land, into the Kimura for Land that, in the Kimura, yeah. Which is his finish, right? Yeah. But, but that, that that being said, that spot was not going to be the finish. Probably not. Because they, they it had... broken up. Yeah, they had more stuff to do. But, uh... So, <laughs> Nagata, who's 45? 
44, yeah, 40, yeah in there. Uh, is still just ridiculously strong and in good shape. And like, Fucking hurled yeah, Sakuraba, so Sakuraba for this move that he has to reverse. Uh, Sakuraba attempts to do the cutback, but like Nagata chucked him so far. Yeah, lands past Nagata, like yeah, over his head. He basically did the cutback to nobody. And landed on his elbow. And completely dislocated And dislocated it. it. And it looked awful. And they had to end the match right away. And we were so fucking bummed, because seriously, the match was... The match started hot and then just got hotter. Yeah. It was great. Drew... Well, you do have to give credit that Sakuraba kept his consistency that he did not pride. <laughs> get, <laughs> get hurt get every up, fight. Get stopped, and then everybody's disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, props to Sakuraba, though. They, like, put his elbow back in place. Ooh. They put ice on it. Yeah. And he still shook people's hands shook on the people's way hands back to the locker room. With his bad arm. Yeah. Awesome. Like, on the fans' way back. arms. Yeah. Yeah, what a fucking dude. How old is Sakuraba? Sa- uh, pushing 40. Probably yeah. like late 30s. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Broke in in 93, 20. Yeah, he's probably right around 40. Yeah, I was thinking around 40. No younger. No. Uh, say, it, additions, Drew? No. No, three and no. two quarters is fine. Like I said, it was on its way to being four and a half, so. Yeah, it was going to be. Well, it, it even what we saw was so good. Yeah. And yeah, it was just. And if they had had like a super hot finishing <sighs> sequence, Saki. four and a half, four and three quarters. I Sakuraba will come back because he's a man. So, um, well, if if that hadn't happened, it would have been Sakuraba and Nagata in the singles on the next pay per view. Yeah, because they're also doing because they are doing the other Shibata, one, Goto versus yeah. Shibata. Uh, and poor, poor Nagata is in just the loser ten man tag to open the show. But is he in match zero? Yeah, uh, match one. But oh, yeah, it's, it's but one. Yeah, it is one. Yeah, it's actually on the pay per view. Okay, but, but yeah. Yeah, so the, yeah, they just threw Nagata in there because he lost his big singles, which is too bad. But hopefully, they'll well, do it. Eventually. They'll, they'll do it when Sakuraba comes back. I, I just hope it's not too long before he comes back. Cause... This is the second year in a row that Nagata's hurt someone who he's who was supposed to have a feud with. Oh yeah, he broke Masakatsu Funaki's orbital bone. <laughs> yep. on the Dome Show last year, and they ended up facing each other in July. Which Later, is crazy. Yeah. He came back from a broken orbital bone in yeah. only like six months, but. But anyways. Yeah, hopefully same thing with Zach. I hope he comes back quick. Yeah. Uh, next up was uh, the reason Drew came to his first New Japan pay-per-view. <laughs> you uh, are goddamn right. Satoshi Kojima challenging for the NWA World Heavyweight title against Iron Man Rob Conway. New Japan knows how to book to cater to my liking. <laughs> And I, you know what? It did not disappoint. <laughs> Five stars. Five <laughs> stars says Drew. Uh, Meltzer says three and a quarter, uh, tied for worst match on the show. Uh, Drew disagrees strongly. Strongly disagree. Because it's maybe the best thing he's ever it seen. It was, was the best wrestling match I have ever seen. <laughs> and it was better than most MMA fights. It. <laughs> <laughs> I like, uh, a I'm a, weird I'm a fan, to I'm a fan of a crazy claim. It, uh, it was nowhere near as good as the match before or after it. <laughs> it, it was goddamn awful. It, like, it wasn't it awful. It was boring. It was, it was pretty boring. Here's the thing. Rob Conway, Rob Conway is, boring. is working an early 90s heel gimmick. Absolutely. Which is rest holds. Just look at him. He wasn't just look at him, though. Is the I problem. Know. He's the Iron He's Man. He's the Iron Man. Super orange. Yeah. He loved, loved to flex. Like, his favorite thing in life is flexing. Getting chopped and then flexing. Yeah, and then flexing before he chops. And here's the thing: Rob Conway's a big guy. He had an even bigger guy, like heel bodyguard on the outside, who like ran interference. Uh, I found out the name of this heel bo- bodyguard. Would you guys like to hear it? I knew it. I, I muscle milk. It muscle though. milk, Mark. <laughs> the vanilla gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, this match is back up to five stuff. Back to five. Okay, that's fair. Uh, yeah, Dave gave it, uh, three and a quarter. I would go, like, maybe two and a half. I'd go two and three quarters. Yeah. I don't think it was quite three. It was, it, was, like, it was fine. It was fine. Like, they didn't really do anything. Oh, I was gonna say they didn't do anything wrong, except Rob Conway he bumping, like, bumps, bumping yeah. like a faggot on Diamond Cutters. Yeah. He's... Both standing and from the second row. Yeah, it took some bad bumps. Besides that... Everything I, was fine. It was fine. It just wasn't that exciting. No. And, you know... And it was just kind of, yeah, by the by the numbers. Yeah. So. What, it was kind of what you'd expect. What else do you expect from a guy who was a mid-card jobber in the... Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yeah. I give it two stars. Yeah. And, thanks to to that, I will never watch another New Japan show. <laughs> Aw. Okay. We're going we're gonna to address this again later. We will address this later. <laughs> 
Uh, next up was a, another guy I used to hate on, again, I think deservedly, yes. and in the last few years has become so fucking awesome. Shinsuke Nakamura defending the IC title against Davey Boy Smith Jr., formerly Harry Smith, formerly not a thing. David Hart Smith. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nakam- Nakamura, who they gave the world title to when he was like 13 and had <laughs> zero charisma and just thought he was kind of an MMA guy, uh, totally sucked. At some point, developed the most charisma in the company, yep. started wearing best a... Best gimmick. The best gimmick, started, like, gave himself the world's craziest haircut that isn't Minoru Suzuki. <laughs> Uh, started wearing a uh, red Michael Jackson thriller vest mm. and just doing amazing shit. And uh, he, of all the papers we watched, he's always had one of the best matches on the show. He's always awesome on every show. He's uh, always one of the most exciting guys Absolutely. on on any given show. And god damn is he fun. Dave Boy, Dave Boy Smith is uh, pretty good. Um, I, I wasn't expecting as good of a match than what we ended up getting. Yeah, they, they, I thought Nakamura will carry him to a good match, but like this was a great Nakamura match. carried him to a really good match. Yeah. Uh, this is this is kind of proof that Nakamura can pretty much do no wrong at this point. Yeah, no kidding. He's, well, he just keeps working with all these big loads and like having and good having and giving them, yeah. them the best match of their <laughs> career, pretty much. <laughs> pretty good, by <laughs> Dan said big loads. <laughs> God. Uh, Big Dave gave it uh, four and a quarter. I'm really not mad at that. I'm I might give it four. Yeah, I'd say around four. Yeah, like it was a real good match. Uh, like lots lots of good uh, reversals. Uh, good near falls. Good yeah. near falls. Good sight. Cool finish. Yeah. Oh oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> has has anyone ever seen a person climb the ropes the way Nakamura did? For the for the setup to the finish, uh, I'm sure I have, but not very it common. W- no. He okay. He climbed the center of the ropes, like between, like right in the middle, off the apron, between the two posts, as if it was like a turnbuckle. Yeah. Just like straight up, climbed it, like step, 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 stand on the top rope with like just a straight line, no balance, and then hit a crazy flying knee, and then hit another one and pin the motherfucker because you're awesome. Yep. It was it was really good. I, I don't I don't know if I've ever seen someone do that on the ropes like Nakamura. And he and he did like he was never like you know uh, I was gonna say you know those of you who have been in a ring um, and if you're not you shouldn't be rating any fucking matches. Um, if you like just standing in the middle of the ropes like the ropes kind of like bounce on you and it's not easy. Yeah, uh, Nakamura was just like step 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 good done. It, yeah, it was awesome. I'm I'm fine giving it four. Um, Drusif? Don't for not the, for don't the, fucking nod on a podcast. <laughs> for the parts that I was awake for. Oh yeah, you didn't catch all of this. Did three, you see the finish? Three and three quarters. I saw the last like I think I only missed the first like maybe less than a half yeah. of the match. Three and three quarters. Yep. That's fine. And then the main event, uh Tanahashi defending the world title against Kazuchika Okada. Who the two have had uh, three singles matches before this one? Before this, uh, they had o- Okada in February 2012 beating Tanahashi for the title out of nowhere. Yep. Nobody saw it coming, um, and and people be- being very wary about it, like oh, Okada's you know, young and untested, and his comeback match last month sucked, yep. <laughs> but they gave him the title anyway. No my, yeah. And then Okada's first title defense was amazing, yep. and everyone's like, oh, I guess we're okay with this. Uh, then he lost the title back to Tanahashi in June 2012 in, uh, some could definitely argue the match of the year. It's either that or another Tanahashi match, pretty much. Um, uh, that match was great. And then they had a, another match for the title at New Japan's WrestleMania, basically, which is the January 4th show, 2013, uh, which, uh, which was very good, but I, I didn't think measured up to the... The June, the June match. The June match. No, um, I was expecting a lot more finishing sequence on it, just because it was the, the main event of WrestleMania. And, and we expected Okada to win. And we kind of expected Okada <laughs> to win, because Tanahashi had won, won the last one. Uh, and, and Okada had been like playing up the title shot for six months, basically. Yeah, uh, yeah so yeah, it was actually kind of let down with Tanahashi winning, which you know normally it shouldn't be with the face champion going over strong. But uh, the fact he was getting another shot, we're like, all right. Okada's got to win this one, yep. and he did, and it was awesome. Yep. The uh, 
the in our first conversation after seeing the show, uh, to quote Drew, he said, ah, "Those Japs sure do like their psychology." <laughs> They are really goddamn good at it. They are really and goddamn good at the it. The one thing, though, is is Tan- Tanahashi matches usually don't do that kind of thing. Yeah. He has his style of match. It's really exciting. Yeah. But there, it's kind of by the numbers. Yeah, Tanahashi has a formula for sure. Yeah, it's a formula in, for a four and a half star match. Sure, in but, the same way Ric Flair had a formula. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but, so now this guy's had two five star matches in the span of six months. Super different styles. And, but, yeah. And but, due, but, due to the other guy's style. Yeah, kind of. uh, but both of them also had really good psychology. Better yes. than he typically has yeah. in his matches. Yeah, that's so the thing. It took kind of his... He's got a really good athletic match in him, and they kind of upped it to uh, a whole new level. And, yeah, like I said, uh, that was... that was the <laughs> When that match was done, uh, I believe like the first thing I said is nothing is going to be better than that on WrestleMania. No. And nothing was. And you know what? Nothing may beat that all year. For, yeah, for, it, could, it could very well be the match yeah. of the year. As I was driving home that evening at four in the morning, I, my friend Russell and I basically like. Uh, I guess uh, no one like outright said it when we were watching the show. We're like, uh, like who are we kidding? That was five stars, <laughs> and uh, I'm content with calling it a five star match. And so was Mr. Meltzer. He gave it five stars. Meltz so. gave it five as well, and uh, yeah, pretty tough to disagree. The um, the the cool thing and part of the cool psychology in this was um, Tanahashi. In his formula, uh, normally works the leg affair chunk. Yeah, lots uh, of dragon screws and Texas cold release. Yeah, because he's got a bunch of dragon screw spots, and then he'll do sort of near falls with the Texas cold relief. Um, but with this, he I think he did try to do that a bit early, and then very quickly switch to the arm, which uh, Okada uses for his finisher, the Rainmaker. So it made perfect sense and played into the finish and played into every near fall. And just really brilliantly done, actually. It and was the selling was really good. Selling and was killer both, and both ends. consistent, which consistent. is something that's so lacking in a lot of matches. Yep. Um, yeah, these guys. Yeah, we're th- this is the match we this is uh, this is the exact match we wanted at the January fourth show. Yes, like absolutely. Move for move. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, so I'm glad we got it. Um, it was yeah, it was that. It was it was weird because the January fourth match was very good. It was it just seemed like slightly a letdown. Yep. But like this is exactly what we wanted it to be. So I'm glad we got to see it sometime. Got glad we got to see. Uh, this is definitely the first five star match I've seen happen live in live. a while. Yeah, yeah. No kidding. It's been a while. Um, so yeah, I was all, and Dan and I were also talking about when's the last time a guy had uh, two five star matches in six months because uh, Tanahashi Minoru Suzuki in uh, this past October uh, was also given uh, five stars by Big Dave. And we and think one match of the year in the Observer. And so. one match of the year. Yeah. Um, so and we think you probably got to go back to at best uh, mid '90s all Japan and yep. probably uh, probably Misawa Ko- or Misawa Kobashi. Kobashi or Misawa and Kobashi uh, in '96 uh, and '97 probably. So about uh, 16 years since uh, anyone's had two five star matches that close to each other. Editor's note. Someone has, in fact, had two five-star matches that close together more recently than Mid-90s All Japan. It was Samoa Joe in 2005 who had two five-star matches in three weeks on September 11th in TNA against uh, AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels, and three weeks later on October 1st, 2005 against Kenta Kobashi in ROH. The reason no one remembered was because TNA is notoriously awful, and no one could believe that they had a five-star match there. Now back to the show. So, uh, Tanahashi's doing okay, and I don't want to short-sell uh, Minoru Suzuki or uh, Okada, who were on the other end of both of those yep. five-star matches. And so, next uh, show, we get uh, Okada defending the title against Minoru Suzuki, which is a match we saw in February, which was semi-main under Tanahashi Carl Anderson, which was also awesome. And I think, actually, uh, Suzuki Okada got short-sold a bit because Tanahashi Anderson was so good, but Suzuki Okada itself was awesome. It was very good. And I and, think this match will be And I better. think this will be better, because yeah. it's the main and the title match. Yep. So, very much looking forward to it. It's a really good card uh, overall. Uh, y'all should uh, y'all should order that Watch shit. Watch New Japan. Watch is, New Japan. the best wrestling available on pay-per-view right now. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Drew is shaking his head. 
You are aware that Impact Wrestling's on pay per view, right? I'm sorry, I forgot. Impact Wrestling was still on pay per view. New Japan is absolutely. But only four times a year now. New Japan is absolutely the, the top two promotions available on pay per view. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, watch it. They got. Um, how many North American buys do they get? Like 500? Uh, yeah, they, they are in that range, 500, yeah. 600. That, that's just outside of Japan buys, actually. But, yeah. But in Japan, their, their eye pay per view is well. crazy numbers. Yeah, like, they do, they're making money. The the Anderson Tanahashi show did yeah. 90,000 on eye pay per view, which wow. is nuts. Wow, that's some serious eye pay per view. ROH does 2,000? 2,000 yeah. on eye pay per view. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's impressive. Yeah. So yeah, good for them, and uh, yeah, if you like good wrestling and uh, don't hate uh, other cultures, <laughs> then order and don't, and don't mind staying up all night. And don't mind or order it and watch it on demand the next day. That's you you, can, you can do that. We just like yeah. to watch it live because we're yeah. fucking lunatics. Well worth the twenty bucks. You split it a couple ways with your buddies. Yeah. yeah it's not. They are it's... they're seriously great shows. New New Japan and PWG right now are two hot fucking feds, and you should watch everything they do. Yep. That's what uh, that's what I say, and uh, my word is law. So, uh, till next time. Don't look at me fucking blankly, Drew. The one thing you said before we fucking recorded this is that you already had your shit in, and I say until next time, and you look at me fucking blankly. What is your problem? Until next time. <laughs> North Korea is a shithead. <laughs> Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Uh, Brock Lesnar's cycle is a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Gosh, that's cute. <laughs> um, oh, boy. <laughs> I will say WrestleMania is a shit. <laughs> yeah, it, it sort of was. And, uh... Well... Until next time. Uh, uh, panic. Oh, <laughs> it's happening. It's okay. I will be your father. <laughs> so yeah, Kelly will be my father figure. Uh, George Michael is a shithead. <laughs> and tune in next week when we talk about penile sounding. <laughs>